Hey guys, to create this rolling text animation in DaVinci Resolve, the first thing we're going to do is to take our Fusion Composition clip uh, straight to the Fusion page and let's go ahead and bring in a text node. What we're going to do right now is just to write our first letter of the text here and then let's bring up the size uh, quite a bit there. Let's also change the font as well. The next thing we're going to do is to bring a duplicate node that you can find under Effect. Let's change the number of copies to five and then let's move these copies upwards so that they sit right on top of each other. Now I want to demonstrate one problem here. So uh, let's uh, come to the original text. Let's bring it downward so that it starts to go out of screen. And then when it starts to do that, you will notice all the other copies will also start to disappear. Now that's just the nature of the duplicate note, but this doesn't really give us a lot of flexibility to create a good looking animation. So now let's come back to the original text note and let's go to the image tab instead. Let's check off all the resolution. Let's go to height. We're going to multiply it by four. So now this essentially is going to increase it uh, four times. Now you will see that we have now way much more real estate to work with. So now let's bring the duplicate node back in and then we're going to change the number of copies to a much bigger number. Let's change it to 25 this time. And then we're going to move all these copies uh, upwards so that they sit, they eventually sit just slightly uh, right uh, above each other. The next thing we're going to do is to copy these two nodes and then paste them. And we're going to connect the pasted nodes back to the other ones as a foreground. And then now uh, let's come to this new text node and uh, change it to uh, the next uh, letter. And then we're going to move it slightly over to the right. And then we're just going to uh, copy and uh, paste them again, uh, bring them back or connect them back as a foreground, basically going to do the same thing. Let's go to this new text node. And now we're going to change it to the next letter. Uh, and then let's move it uh, over to the right uh, just slightly. And then we're going to just repeat this process. And uh, guys, this is basically, uh, we basically now have the foundation for the animation. So at this point, as you can see, the resolution is no longer the same as the original 1920 by 1080. So to fix this, what we're going to do is to bring a background node and then connect all these other nodes to the background node as a foreground. So now, as you will see, the resolution is now restored to the original 1920 by 1080. And let's also go ahead and bring a, a rectangle masking node uh, connected to the merge node. We're going to create a, a mask that's tightly wrapped around uh, the uh, original text. And so now another thing we can do is to come to the merge node, uh, adjust the center parameter to move the text a little bit closer to the center of the screen. So now let's uh, go to the first text node. We're going to go to the layout tab. Let's keyframe the center parameter. Let's go to the end of this video. Let's once again keyframe the center parameter. Let's go back to the one at the beginning. We're going to start to bring down the Y axis. As you can see now, we have so many copies to work with, so many letters to work with. Uh, it's going to look great. So now let's uh, go to also the spline editor. Uh, let's change the easing and ease out to how, however you would like uh, the, the animation uh, to look. Now let's go to the second text node and with the playhead position at the beginning of the video, let's once again uh, keyframe the center parameter and then let's come to the end of this video. Let's keyframe the center uh, parameter again. And then uh, this time we're just going to start to bring down uh, these copies uh, right now. And as you can see, uh, we have a lot to work with. Uh, we just need to make sure that it's, end up, it's going to end up being aligned with the others. And let's also come to the spline editor and then change the interpolation of the keyframes. And now let's come to the third text node and basically repeat the same process. And guys, this is a highly customizable animation. So you can determine how or where you want the rolling animation to, to begin, uh, how you want it to look, and also how you want the interpolation uh, for the keyframes to be. Uh, but this is basically the workflow uh, to create the rolling text animation. And now once all this is done, let's come back to the edit page, let this render. And this is pretty much it guys. So this is the workflow uh, for creating the rolling text animation. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. As always, I will see you next time.